Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning back into Relevant Jukebox. Uh, today, I got a good one for you. We're going to talk about the newest full-length album from Eve Toomer, Heaven to a Tortured Mind. So this is the third full-length album from the experimental singer-songwriter Sean Bowie. I really enjoyed his last full-length, Safe in the Hands of Love, from 2018. Stylistically, that album was like a chameleon, covering all different types of genre in the worlds of like down-tempo, electronics, noise, and pop. But overall, the album album kind of felt like it was trying to do a little bit too much and ended up lacking cohesion which made it hard to make heads or tails what the album was shooting for. Still way cooler than a lot of other albums I came across in 2018 no doubt. So going into a new album I had no idea what to expect. But yeah this thing kind of blew me away. <laughs> This album is not all over the place like its predecessor, and everything is now under a laser focus and feels so much more cohesive, while still bending genres at the same time. It's like he's completely taken his sound in the direction of the lead single Noid from Safe in the Hands of Love. But this album reads to me like this sexually tortured glam rock album that's wearing this experimental noise pop disguise. Eve's vocals on here are pretty freakish as well, and they kind of sound like there's three of them singing at the same time. And a lot of his vocal inflections are what give me a lot of those hints of glam rock. Also, the sound play on here, which is pretty mind-altering and strange, is what gives it that experimental edge. With the majority of sounds on here sounding so heavily manipulated, it's hard for me to make out what they are at most spots. I'm just kind of sitting there like, duh, as like everything's being smeared in front of my face. Kind of like a long exposure shot. The record kicks off with a pretty in-your-face jam gospel for a new century. I love the horn samples on this track and how they're warped and super stretched out and they give off this weird like shine to them that's really cool really strong start to the record though which leads nicely into a huge standout on here medicine burn pretty dark imagery on the lyrics on this one when he's talking about seeing 600 teeth from severed heads and seems like he's confessing all of his sins that he can't deal with anymore here on earth to god the instrumental on this one is insane though it's so noisy and stretched out and dead I love all those like really squishy synth leads and the spiraling guitars and how they just kind of dance around each other on this cut. Already this album sounds way cooler than any other rock album I've heard so far this year and I can't get enough of the track Romanticist that's halfway through. It's this razor sharp soul centric pop track that just feels expertly crafted. It kind of makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up when you get all of those sounds rushing in on the first chorus and when you get to the end of the track it starts to spiral and get noisier and then I'm like wait a second is that a firework that I heard go off? And I do believe it is fireworks going off, making those whistling sounds, which leads directly into the next track, Dream Palette, and a huge rush of instrumentation. This track has a really great hook on it for like such a heartbreaking chorus, which is, again, talking about themes of dealing with sexuality and love and figuring out the meaning of them. I also really love the nimble, fantasy-like nature of the track Strawberry Privilege. Eve's vocals do come off kind of strange on this track. At first, I thought they sounded it a bit off because the vocal melody is really odd but I kind of grew to like it ends up working for me over time I kind of grew to learn that in a lot of great rock albums the second to last track is actually the last track which might explain why the track asteroid blues on here is this instrumental cut that feels almost like an outro of sorts and it leads right into a really nice dreamlike ballad a greater love to close out the album you'll probably hear most people talking about how mind-bending the instrumentals are on this release but I also think there were some really sharp hooks woven in as well. And I also loved all the guest vocal appearances on here, like Diana Gordon's just crushing performance on the track Kerosene. You also have Kelsey Liu on Romanticists, and also Julia Cumming of Sunflower Bean is on a couple tracks too. Now, not all of these tracks are gold. Some of them do pale a little bit in comparison to others, like the tracks Identity Thief and Has Dallin Lights. They're a little bit on the briefer side, and they just don't really add too, too much to the track list, especially since they get so overshadowed by the track Kerosene. And I guess the only cut on this album that, I don't know, I just really didn't love at all was um, the track Superstars. The track has a feature on it from a past collaborator, Hira Kish. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but he's kind of looks like Eve Toomer. I just think their vocal performances on this cut were just a little too repetitive and one-dimensional. But also the chorus has a really weak hook on it compared to some of the other ones here. But still, 
I thought this album was really great. There is fantastic songwriting across this entire LP, and I'm still wrapping my mind around a lot of the sounds on here, and Eve has built up a reputation for himself over the years as being a genre-bending experimentalist, and I think it comes off smoother on here than it has in the past, how he blends noise, pop, and rock in this really seamless way. Easily his best album to date, in my opinion. And with that being said, I'm feeling a nine over here. Warp Records does have a silver limited variant of this album up for sale. I already grabbed it. Highly suggest you guys pick up a copy of it before it sells out. I'm gonna have links down below in the description box. And if you listen to this new Eve Tumor album, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and share. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.